What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Alice Cherie, and I'm back here with another video, y'all. This is the maintenance vlog video, so I'm kind of excited for this video. On the agenda today, well, today is Saturday, March the 11th. It's currently 941, and I'm actually in Starbucks line. Um, I've already ordered a, the, of course, the line is to the to the street, y'all. But, of course, I had, you know, the people that's outside taking your order. So, I went ahead and took my order. Um, I got the Grande Strawberry Icy with Lemonade, no strawberries, um, with seven pumps of raspberry syrup, topped with passion tea. Y'all should check it out. And then I got a ham, a ham and cheese croissant. Um, and then I'll be on my way to the nail shop. So, y'all, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all let me know how y'all have been liking my last couple of videos that I have been dropping. Y'all talk to me in the comments because I'll talk back. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and just check in with y'all. Go ahead and get this vlog started. Get this intro started, y'all. I am so excited to kind of have, like, a self-day maintenance day. Y'all haven't had my nails, my feet, my hair done in a minute. Um, as y'all can see, I've already I washed and blow dried my hair already, so that's why it's in a ponytail. Um, so yeah, my hair appointment is at two o'clock. Um, I'll probably take y'all along or try to get some, you know, V rolls because I'm not sure if you know she allowed you know you know people privacy. So I'll see if I'll be able to vlog uh, me getting my hair done. If I do vlog, of course y'all see that. If I'm not able to vlog, then like I said, I'll try to get some clips of it or whatever. But yeah. Um, hopefully, well, the nail shop don't open up until 10 o'clock. It's 9.43 right now. So, as I know, I'm trying to be in and out. Like they said, the first one in, the first one out. But we're going to see how that go because that never goes as planned on a Saturday at a nail shop. So, I already know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get something basic. I'm going to probably get, like, well, I know I'm going to get, like, French tips. That's what I got in mind. And then I know I'm going to get white toes, but I want to try to get my toes French tips as well. Um, so, yeah. And I guess I'll check back in with y'all when I get to the nail shop. Alright, so I've made it to the nail shop, y'all, and it looks like the nail shop is open online. They said it don't open up till 10 o'clock, but I only see one person here and one nail tech so far because the windows look a little tinted. But uh, I wanted to come on here and come show y'all my drink. This is how it looks without the strawberries. All I gotta do is mix it up. But yeah, let's try it. Hopefully, it tastes how it's supposed to taste. It's good, but they put the, of course, top it off with passion tea. So all I gotta do is just mix it up. Once it mix, look, there it go. Or whatever. And there we go. And then I got my ham and cheese croissant. Lock them doors, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to eat my croissant before I go in here before everybody start pulling up or um, before I start getting two pack. So I'm glad I washed and blow dried my hair out. So just in case, I'm cutting it close by time. I ain't gotta worry about that, it's already done, taken care of. So let me go ahead and knock a shot, and I'll check back in with y'all when I get in the nail shop. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want after this club. You know you're nasty, you know you're nasty. You were out of my house, you caught a taxi. Let me get that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are no longer. 
bro, just say I'm just trust me Yeah, I'm just trust me So get in love, you ain't gon' tell me Let me get this clear Cause I had no idea I'm feeling the bitch in the house I'm feeling the bitch in the house And I'm skinny on the house the nail shop and we're doing perfect time it is currently 11 57 right now and these are the nails i like them then again i kind of feel some type of way about them um it's what i asked for but it's not what i asked for he had like when i say he tried drawing on like the french chip shapes let me show y'all exactly what i wanted or what i was going for um hold on this is the shape that I was actually trying to go for. Like y'all see that dip and the curve that's in it. They draw. They was they draw on the pink back in the day when I used to get like the French chips or whatever. They used to use the the white powder and the pink powder. But now this nail shop that I've been going to since I've moved to Dallas, they don't do that. So I haven't been. Like I said, I haven't been to the nail shop in a while. I walked in. They didn't remodel the place. It's all new staff. It's only two people, two ladies that's still there that I noticed from when I was going previously since the last time I've been. So, but he said he actually, the nail tech that did my nails, his name was John. He was actually nice, cool, y'all. He was actually trying to get to know me, you know, being my nail tech and being the person that's doing my nails. You want to get to know your clients or whatever. And that's what he was doing. So I appreciate that. But he also stated that he was from Houston, Texas. He just moved out here. He only been out here for three days or whatever. So I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. I wasn't getting mad. I was working with him or whatever. But the last third, the third, like I said, third time's a charm. The third time he drew on and I was like, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it because I'm not trying to be that person um, with him already saying that he's new to the shop and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then for my toes, I just pretty much got a pink and a French tip uh, toes or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'll probably insert some clips of my feet and my nails or whatever in this video. But overall, y'all, it was relaxing. I enjoy, you know, that me time, quality time or whatever my hair appointment is not until two o'clock so i probably just go back to the house and just chill i know my husband is trying to fire up the grill which stop he want a barbecue today or whatever so he actually just got back home from grabbing some stuff for that so i'll probably go home and you know season the meat and get everything like that i'll probably incorporate that part or whatever to this video this might not be just a maintenance vlog it might be a maintenance you know vlog weekend vlog weekly vlog i'm not sure but yeah i guess i'm finna head on to the house up until it's time for me to go get my hair done 
Um, this scarf is looking really wopsided. Looking real wopsided. But yeah, let me go ahead and make it back to the house to see what my husband got going on. So yeah, I guess I'll check back in with y'all when I go get my hair done. Alright y'all. It is 154. I'm not saying I'm mad. I don't know what to say or how to feel, but let's just say I pulled up to my hair appointment. Mind you, I said my hair appointment is at 2 o'clock, right? Once again, it's 154. I call her just to confirm the apartment number. Oh, um, um, can you give me an hour? An hour? So I'm like, okay, around 3 o'clock? Yeah, around that time, I apologize. Yeah, well, yesterday, I ended up rescheduling my appointment. Not rescheduling, but moving up my appointment because I seen she had an open slot at 2 o'clock. My original appointment was at 3 o'clock anyway to begin with. But since I noticed she had an opening at 2 o'clock, which is an earlier time, I decided to go ahead and, you know, move up my appointment. Why not? But anywho, I am starving only thing I had today was that croissant from Starbucks. Whenever I did go home, my husband and was grilling. But, you know, by the time I got ready to get ready to go, they was already pulling the meat off the grill and stuff like that. And me not wanting to be late to my appointment, thinking I'm doing good, leaving early so I can be on time. I can get in, get out, because we have a company over tonight or whatever. We have like an adult tonight since we're kid-free this weekend. No, now I'm an hour behind of what I was planning on doing, but I'm pulling up to McDonald's. I don't even know if I came in the right way, but I'm finna go grab me a little six piece and a small fry from McDonald's just to put something on my stomach. So I don't know how long this girl gonna be in my head or whatever. I don't even know if I even wanna record in this girl house. I'm probably not, but it's just a fact, like, you couldn't call me, send a text, hey, I'm running behind schedule, like, nothing, nothing, six minutes before I'm supposed to be in your chair, I had to call you to find out that you're running late, but anywho, let me go get my McDonald's, because it seems like I'm, I'm hangry, let me go get my food, let me get my food. All right, y'all, it is 2.55. I'm not even finna call this girl. I'm finna just go knock on the door. Hopefully, she's done with what she have to do. But I guess I'll check back in with y'all once I'm finished getting my hair done. Got the bundle. And then I'm gonna have her oil my hair with this Malia Hair Growth Rosemary Mint and Hair Strengthening Oil. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get in here so I can get out of here. I'm already, like I said, an hour behind because I was supposed to get my head in at two o'clock. But let me stop rambling, get myself together and get in here. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. It is actually Sunday, March the 12th. Y'all, today is my mom's birthday. Um, so I have to call her, wish her a happy birthday. It is currently 8.33 in the morning. And I've already done my facial care, washed my face and all that. As y'all can see, I have my hair put up in the bundle. Last night, I did not come back on the camera. Y'all, that, that was a little bit too much. And I'm gonna let y'all know about that. So, my y'all, my appointment was at... Two o'clock yesterday, okay. Came back on the camera and told y'all she pushed my appointment back by an hour to three o'clock. Cool. You know, went to McDonald's, you know, messed up some time or whatever. Came back, knocked on her door at 2.55, y'all. 
Why is that if someone's still in your chair, my appointment's at 3 o'clock? Okay, cool. Me thinking, oh, well, you're almost finished. My y'all, she's doing hair at her house. Um, she has a separate bedroom that she used for, like, her hair shop or whatever. So, I was in her lobby, which is her living room. So, me thinking, okay, cool. You got somebody in there. You finna wrap it up. You come out and you tell me, oh, I'm still working on her. We're going to switch out. I'm going to go ahead and braid you down. I'm going to put her back in the chair to take care of what she needs to take care of. Cool. She pulls me back to the chair. She braids me down. Then she sends me back to her living room. Yeah, I was playing on my phone. That was like roughly around what? 3.15-ish. Cool. So I'm thinking, okay, right. We don't be right on time. Yeah, I put my phone down. I guess I must have took a nap. She came back and she was like, oh, I'm ready for y'all, y'all. Kid you not. I looked at my time. It is 4.22. Why did you just not start on my head? 4.22. Y'all, I didn't get out of her house until almost 7 o'clock. Don't get me wrong. My hair turned out good. I love my hair, but you get what you pay for. I'm not saying I'm not going to go back to her because I will be going back to her. But it's like, girl, you get what you pay for. So it is what it is. So, like I mentioned, I did get a versatile sew-in. I got uh, bouncy hair. Well, y'all, y'all see, not showed y'all the bundles, but... This is the hair. Oh, and I braided it so it keep its curls. I'm probably not gonna flat iron my leave out because we're actually fin to head out to the country and go shooting. So my hair it really ain't gonna make a difference. So let's take this out. I'm pretty sure my husband's downstairs waiting for me. So yeah, I just wanted to check back in with y'all. I know this maintenance vlog wasn't the vlog that y'all probably was expecting. Or whatever it's all over the place so i'll probably keep the vlog going i'm probably not gonna close it out here i'll probably do a couple of more days into this vlog or whatever but y'all i love my hair mm -mm -mm. you can't tell me nothing but yeah my leave out is a little frizzy because yesterday we was outside after i got back home or whatever and the humidity frizzed up my hair so i might do I really want to put heat in my hair right now? No, I'm probably just going to put this shit back up in a bun. Since I said, like, since I said that we're going, um, I can't get my words out. I'll put it in a bun since we're going to be, you know, outside anyway, shooting and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll probably check back in with y'all later. Um, as of right now, I'm going to pick up my kids from my husband's aunt like i said we was baby free this whole weekend and it is sunday so it's back to the regular schedule program tomorrow which is spring break for them but still i'm going to get my kids but yeah i'll check back in with y'all whenever we get to our destination two thousand years later all right y'all we have made it to our destination we actually been here for a couple of hours now but of course like we're just mingling and everything like that we just got to finish eating um and right now we're actually shooting but we are on a private property which is one of my husband's co-workers homes um he have acres in the back of his house so that's where we are um so i'll probably like do some b-rolls or whatever but i'm not gonna have my car my camera out as much because we are going to be shooting firearms you know guns and stuff like that so yeah y'all stay tuned and y'all watch Told you, they said that's the nicest one. Look, you can move wherever. You can aim what you can, baby. Whatever you want to shoot, you shoot.
dong itu bela. Try ya. Dan. That's real. You holding it close to my face. Yep, shut them all down. Put these on, boy. You need them more. Shut them off there. Go ahead. Stop, boy. Stop. You hot.